Oh, by the way, this fog of war effect, we're prototyping a badass version of it. So it's finally gonna look good. The clouds are of course temp. Anyway. I just got sad for a second. Those who know why, know why. <sighs> Life, guys, I tell you, I don't know what it's, how it works. I don't know how it works. So I did this new thing about these popping around. It's probably a little too distracting, but we're going to work on it some more. Who's getting fired? Nobody's getting fired. Yeah, like this, switching in a line from bottom to top, and then the top is even off the screen a little bit. That's not good. We could bring that down a little. Yeah, I mean, since it's public knowledge, I'll tell people. There was a dude working on this game um, who was young. He was 25. Um, and, you know, he was already one of the best game designers on the world and was on track to be even better. And, uh, you know, he died this week. And it's very, it's very terrible. For a, it's been complicated for me for a lot of reasons that I don't really want to talk about. Um, it has me thinking about, like it sort of hits me at the core of like why I design games and how I think about games, what happened. Um, yeah. And he made most of the level design of this overworld, which is why I was looking at it and got sad. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a bummer for me, but it's a bummer for everyone who would have played his games because they're great, you know? Like, who knows what, like, and he's good now, right? How good would he be, like, 20 years from now after practicing constantly? Like, I was not a good game designer at 25, like, at all. Now, that said, we were at a disadvantage because the games we had to learn from were much worse, right? But, um... I mean, at 25, that would have been 1996. That's when I was doing my first hover tank game. Like, it was being a little bit creative in its design, but I wouldn't say I pulled it off very well. Like, in term, like I would make a much, 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 much better freaking hover tank game today. Um, but yeah, I mean, he was he was so good. If you guys want to play one of his games, here's the one that got his attention. It's called, or it got my attention and is why we hired him. It's this, and he also had a game called Vexed Edit, but play this game, Enigmash. Um, well, you got it. This isn't the game page. You have to find it. That was an article about it. What? This is another article about it. Fucking, okay, here we go. It's a puzzle script game. When you finally get through the internet to a screen that looks like this, you have found it. And uh, I don't want to spoil it. Just be ready for big chunky pixels, but um, I don't want to spoil the game. It's super cool. It is super cool. One of the things that I wanted to do after Sokoban Game Ships, I wanted to set him up as design lead of a side project. Maybe a a more complex version of this, or who knows? That's not going to happen now. Sad. 
says. But you can find he has a whole page of games of all different kinds, not just one kind of game, and uh, they're really good. Yep. Well, you know, the universe is complex, and there's a lot of realities where he's alive, so, you know, maybe it's fine. Oh, it's so sad though. All right, I'm getting over it. I'm getting over it. <laughs>